Hey guys, it's Aika. We are going to be checking out Epic Highs Ne Ye Gigata, I think, based on a true story featuring Hayes. I am so excited for this. To me, Hayes and Epic High really just does make sense together. I'm so excited for this. I'm a huge Epic High fan. I almost thought about copying the physical album of it, but I'm like, nah, I gotta save money though. But I'm really, really excited for this. I'm a huge fan of Epic High. They literally always kill it. I'm so excited for this. So excited to listen to all the B tracks because we know Epic High's discography is going to be amazing no matter what. I did see the teaser for this and it's they're like in like a field with very green. That's why I put my green LEDs. Um, and then it also has like this film sort of thing to it too as well, which I hope is going to be in this video too. Um, but I'm excited so you know with it, let go. Yeah, okay, so they did a little film looking thing. Cool flowers. Look at them, they're pretty. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that piano. Hayes' voice is just so beautiful. I've seen Hayes live. She's amazing. She has an amazing voice. Definitely fits this sort of song. I love how it sounds in the track. Here we go with some tableau. Killing it. Is that two cuts with the flashlight? Oh, there we go. Here we go. I like the lighting on him. It's cool. This video is really cool too. Here we go with Mithra. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the track. So like there's like violins, pianos in the song. I'm loving it though. I love it. She's gorgeous too as well. I like the that they've stayed consistently with the frame of the film. Like it looks like it's film. So like how they shot it, like all the locations are dope. You don't even have to think about if Tablo or Mithra is going to kill it because they will. I can't wait to listen to the track like just by myself with like headphones on because I obviously I don't right now. Just so I can appreciate the song itself because it's amazing. I love this. I'm not even saying much because I'm just into this. Also look at the subtitles because I don't react to the subtitles. They're distracting to me sometimes because sometimes I focus too much on the subtitles that I forget about what's happening on screen. Is it still going? Is this like... 
Okay, I think it was really, really cool. I like that they chose like the aspect ratio of it and then also how they have like this like film like effect on top of it that makes it look like it's like shot, like you're looking through like a film reel and stuff even though it wouldn't really look at that if it was like supposed to be like on film. Um, but it was still really, really cool. I like that they chose that. The locations are really, really cool. I love the sort of graininess that the video does have and just all the locations were really, really dope. I really liked it. I enjoyed it. I really love the song. You have more like classical intro instruments into the song which I think are really really dope um I really love it the song was absolutely amazing again I can't wait to listen with like my headphones on um what I mean to, like over the ear ones so I can just really really appreciate the song because I think it's really really dope it's really really cool and with just over the speakers for my computer they're not the best first of all but then also just like just to, to just appreciate the sound and the feels and the vibes and then also to be able to look at the lyrics too after that epic high really kills it with their lyrics too as well they're, they're great lyricists um, so I can't wait to do that because I don't react with subtitles. I know people tell me to, um, but I don't. Or we can just look at genius lyrics. Here we go. So it's like, I don't know whether to cry or laugh. I'm just nodding my head. I think this story is like mine. You're crying in that screen. It's all like my heart. My eyes are red. Even if you turn off the TV and turn it on again, you see all these heartbreaking scenes and turn on the radio for a while. You hear stories like mine and dawn comes before you know it. I can see you even when my eyes are closed. Loss makes me selfish, extorting other feelings to fill my little emptiness. I put in my heart the isolation and loneliness that are not for me. Put it in your heart and mouth and say it's like a, my story. I'm scared actually, I'm afraid I'll feel what's all mine, a touch of silky emotions. I'm afraid that with just one pull, all this thread will be unraveled. Again, Lyris is up in here. This is really, really cool. I love it so far. Even if it's okay at times. Here's Mithra's verse. Um, for the first like time, I've read tablets just now. I get heartbroken by the lyrics that go through my ears. If you can't take it back, it might worsen and I'm eating away my bitter memories because I want to become a medicine. I've seen it countless times, memorize the lines, tears pour out at night at the breakup scene. Will it be filled someday as much as I empty? I keep chasing the sadness that will fill your void. I think the story is like mine. Good, can went to the chorus and we're going back to Mithra. I can only see the tragedy all over the screen. The groans of each song are engraved with one syllable because the whole world is as heartbroken as I am. I would just make a noise to ask you to know how I feel. In the end, I, who was indifferent at the breakup, falls apart. Our relationship is over, but I see you everywhere because I keep holding on to the day I ran away. Hate and the developments that made me laugh at you make for making scene, making sense. My bad, I can't read. The obvious lines stuck in my mind. Things like fate that aren't anywhere in the world. I want, it, I want to be fooled by that deception. Am I crazy? I feel emotion. My eyes get teary. You cry instead of me who doesn't have the power to cry. Everything I see, hear, and feel, then to the chorus, and then the post-chorus, and then I don't know whether to cry or laugh, I'm just nodding my head and stuff. So I think it's really, really great that Amazing Lyricists, they always have a way of telling stories, especially like this one. I love the lyrics, they're really, really dope. Um, really well written, relatable in a way, and I like how, you know, they do talk, like, the video for it is like, again, that film sort of thing, and they do talk about seeing memories or whatever, like, play on, like, a TV, or, like, in a way, sort of... Kind of like the way the lyrics are written, it's sort of like it's relatable. They're relating themselves to something that they're seeing in a way you the audience can do that too as well. Um, for this song, it's like, okay, I can put myself in this position or just because I've seen it or listening to the song, I can feel it and I can relate to it in that way. That's what I'm pulling for based off this initial reaction of the video and the song. My ideas may change over time, but I think it's really, really dope. I love the lyrics. Again, Epic High are masterful lyricists and they showed it here. Haze was a wonderful choice for the song. I love it. I love the sound of the song. Everything about this was absolutely amazing. Chef's Kiss. Amazing. I loved it. Go and put your thoughts in the comments down below what you thought about Epic Highs based on a true story featuring Hayes. If you liked this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or in the description down below or at the end screen, share this video to your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.